Alright, so welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're going to use these tarot cards to do a what the heck check on J-Lo and Ben Affleck. We all saw the Grammys footage. Sad Ben. Ben being sad. Why are you so sad, Ben? So let's do a, a wellness check on their relationship, among other things. For those of you who are wondering, Mr. Peach is eating his food over there, and he will join us when he's done being a bad baby. So, we all know that J. Lo and Ben Affleck, I was once uh, at an event in LA, and someone referred to Ben Affleck as Ben Affleck. And I've always thought it was funny. And anyway, so they've been through a lot of changes recently. They had the move-in. They were doing the blended family thing. J-Lo did a blurb to the press about how planning their wedding gave her PTSD. Because she was like, oh, you know, we've kind of gone through this once before. So, like, yeah, lots of changes. Like, she's doing the, like, we are happy, committed, and in love soulmates game. Like, very strong to the press. Like, that's, that is her through line. For sure. And Ben Affleck has always been a moody guy. Like, we know this, like, they're two Leos, and he's framed by water on either side. Yeah, he's got a Cancer rising and a Scorpio moon. Scorpio moon, dark hearted, so he can handle a lot of shit. He can handle a lot of deep, ugly, intense stuff. Cancer's moody, Scorpios can be moody. That, he's a moody guy. You know, sometimes he has these moments where, like, you're proud of him when he does, like, the Dunkin' Donuts commercial, and you're like, you know what, Ben? You're all right. Like, you're all right. But then, you know, other times, like, we have this situation at the Grammys. So, like, at the Grammys, he just wasn't trying hard enough. Like, it's an awards show. He's a professional. He knows the score. That you have to have a smile pasted on your face the entire time. And not, like, a smile that's like, I'm in pain, but I'm trying to smile. Because that was his brand last night. Like, uh, Like, I can't even do it. Like, that was really just not fun to watch. I was like, oh my goodness. And it's just like, what would have irritated me about it if it was, if I were J-Lo, if I were J-Lo, is that, like, it's her peer group. Like, this is a work event for her right now, and he's just not bringing his A-game. Like, do you think she would behave that way at the Oscars, or the Emmys, or, like, any of, like, his events where there's a bunch of actors around, like, judging and assessing? Like, no way. Like... He, he probably didn't know many people there, or any, you know, or the people he did know, he'd only maybe met a couple times, and, you know, acquaintances at best. It's not the old, like, boys club pal arounds that his, like, acting, his acting and theatrical awards shows are. So, it's just kind of like, it, it struck me as lazy, emotionally immature, entitled, white boy stuff, but that's kind of his brand, right? Okay, hold on, Mr. Peach is done. He's a good boy who ate his food. So, I mean, like, J-Lo might be so used to it right now that, like, nothing he does, like, no scowliness of his can even, like, phase her, but, like, who knows, right? So, let's find out. J-Lo, Ben. J-Lo, Ben. Helping or hurting the situation, and where's the energy heading? So J Lo's external vibe towards Ben. Oh, okay, interesting. So she got the King of Pentacles in reverse. So right now, what we're trying to find out is how are things behind closed doors. So she's the king, yeah. Externally towards him, she's the king, but she's coming across as destabilized. It's very interesting that she's coming up as the King of Pentacles because she does out earn him, and her net worth is. Ex exponentially higher than his so yeah that's the what's up like you know she has fragrances and activewear and music and movies and like she has an empire <laughs> so in reverse this is suggesting that she's feeling destabilized towards him um maybe with a sense of frustration we'll have to peel, keep pulling cards but that totally checks out okay and what is Ben's external vibe towards J-Lo? Oh, interesting. Well, this is what we know. So, Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, Six of Pentacles upright is a card of giving and receiving. So, it highlights that, you know, giving and receiving, money, money energy, love, attention, affection, all these things are resources, and they need to be in circulation. There needs to be balance and harmony 
when they're in circulation. So this is suggesting that imbalance of, you know, attention, affection, care externally towards her. Okay, so this is good. The cards are checking out with what we already know. So what is Jen's internal vibe towards Ben? Like behind closed doors, how's she feeling alone with herself? Nine of Swords. Okay, so this checks out. I mean, it's just kind of like, uh, like, can you pull it together, Ben? Like, this is, this must be very frustrating for her. Like, because he can. He can pull it together for the cameras. He was just choosing not to. And that's very frustrating and very disappointing. So, there's that. Okay. What is JLo's? What is Ben's internal vibe towards Jen? Oh. Oh, this is a weird ass card to get. This is a weird card. So we got the justice card. So this is a card for man-made justice, you know, the court system, the police system, laws, punishment, discipline, etc. But this is also like how people, it can manifest as how people get back at each other. Like, was he punishing her for something? Like, why does he feel like he's evening the score? But that's how this card is coming through, like he's evening the score. Like, yeah, this was fair. I did this and it was fair. So the height of passive aggressiveness, you know, you saw it here first. Uh, Mr. Ben Affleck, Mr. Ben Affleck. So, okay, and what was helping or hurting the situation? Hmm. Well, we know that. Well, it's nice when the cards check out with what we know. So the King of Cups in reverse, you know, can I, can I have a more better, can I have a more suitable card for Ben Affleck? I mean, really. So King of Cups upright is the emotionally stable, intuitive, like the man that has mastered his emotions and he's seen some ugly shit in his time and his, the memories, the emotions, they don't run him. He's in charge of them. He can change his mood if he needs to. This is the king whose emotions control him and his emotions run him. And that's not great because, you know, you don't want that in life. That's not good. So, so th this is a card that can come up for moody men, moody people, or also just love and affection draining out of a situation. So I'm not saying these guys are doomed, but I'm just saying like, you know, this is early in the marriage. You know, people are still, you know, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Usually at this stage in a marriage, we, we would hope. Okay, where's the energy heading? Well, I mean, this is interesting. I mean, it's an interesting way of putting it. So, basically, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So, the Eight of Swords upright is a card where people, comes up where people feel trapped. So, this can often come up in relationships where things aren't going so well, you know, because... If you look at it, there's the woman, but she feels trapped, but she's not actually literally in a jail cell of these swords. She can sort of shimmy her way out, but and the ropes are loose, the blindfold's loose. There's a way out of this, you know, but it doesn't feel like there's one for her. She keeps bumping into swords. And there's a sense of surveillance from the palace, you know, above. So when this card comes up in reverse, I've seen it happen in several situations. Like when there have been breakups and people are like, okay, now I'm free, the swords are dropping away, and I see clearly now what was going on. It's almost like I see the gaslighting, like I see the toxic, I see the codependency, like I see things for what they were. Or this can come up as like a fixing card in relationships where they're like, oh, like this isn't working, like I see a way of how to fix this. So I really feel like J-Lo is gonna ride this marriage till the wheels fall off. Like, I do not think, like, like, I think she's clocking a minimum 10 years in this thing before she would ever consider a divorce. Like, that's, that's what, how she comes through energetically. Like, that woman has been through it with matters of the heart. And, like, she's just like, you know what? This one's gonna work. So, so we can continue to monitor the situation. I think that this is temporary. She's, like, I think she's just gonna find a way around this, you know, and I bet they're in therapy. I, I'd bet my life on it. So that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below. What did you think of Ben Affleck's countenance at the Grammys? Do you think we're all being too hard on him? Put it in the comments. Do you think he's a passive aggressive child? Put it in the comments. Like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.